We are joined now by the head coach of the UNC Tar Heels, Larry Fedora. Coach, second full year, and you don't start off slow. You have South Carolina at South Carolina. Obviously, anybody says South Carolina these days, and you think Jadavian Clowney. So how early do you have to start preparing for this guy and this team? Well, as soon as we found out we were going to be playing, and, <laughs> and I don't know if you'll be prepared uh, when the game gets there, but we have to be. What, what specific challenges does he present? Obviously, you've seen different teams try to do different things with him, play him straight up, bring somebody else over. How do you prepare for that kind of talent? Well, there's only so many things you can do to change your offense to, to, for one player, but the other thing is they can move him around. So, you know, you put, uh, you put your best player on him. You can uh, br bring a tight end over to help with him. You can chip a running back. Uh, you know, you can turn your offensive line that way, but he may be on the other side. So, you know, we'll just, uh, we're going to have to play our game and understand he is a great player. He's going to make some plays. Just don't let those beat you. How do you make sure that it doesn't get too big? Maybe even when you're talking to one of your talented tackles, a guy like James Hurst, how do you make sure there's no um, aura around a guy like Jadavion so it doesn't become too much in, in game time. Yeah, you know, that it, you would think that would be hard, but James is a pretty grounded guy. I mean, he really is. Uh, he's very confident in what he does. He's going to be prepared. It doesn't matter if he's uh, blocking Jadavion or, or anybody else they threw out there. He's going to do the best job he can. You got a confident guy at quarterback also, yeah. and your senior, Bryn Renner. How would you characterize his development? You know, Bren is a very fiery, competitive guy, and I think probably some just seeing him mature this last year and understanding when he needs to make that throw, when he needs to thread that needle, and when he can, uh, it's okay to punt. You know, he's grown and understands that now. He knows that he just needs to distribute the ball where it needs to go. He needs to take care of the football, number one, and just keep, uh, keep crossing those white lines and moving those chains, and we'll be okay. How much has the offense changed from year one to year two? Do you add a lot in this year? How much, have, obviously you got a veteran guy. Well, you can do more with Bryn, but there's still going to be somebody on the team on that offensive side that's going to be the lowest common denominator, whether it's the left guard or the right tackle or maybe one of the running backs or a receiver. So you still, we have to look at it as a whole and tweak it according to the skill sets we have. And uh, so there will be some changes, but there's, you know, we'll throw some things out that we did last year and we'll add a few things. And uh, we had enough in the offense last year to win football games. One of the changes, you lose a stud running back and Gio, Gio Bernard to the uh, Cincinnati Bengals, obviously. How do you replace a guy like that? What's the plan at running back this year? Well, you got, I, I will say this, when A.J. Blue was on the field last year, he really made some plays for us. When uh, Romar Morris was out there, he made some exciting things happen. They just didn't have the same opportunities that uh, Gio did. And so now you throw Chris Francis, a, a freshman, and, and T.J. Logan, a true freshman, into the mix, and somebody's going to emerge. Somebody's going to be the ones making those plays and being on the highlights on Saturday nights. One of the exciting things about this year is no more postseason ban. So you get to talk about the postseason. Is that something that you do from the beginning, or do you just pretend like all things are the same? Yeah, we really we haven't talked about it one time. I think our guys know it. Uh, they understand it. It's just something that we haven't even approached. I mean, they, 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 what they did discover from last year was they play the game for different reasons, each kid. And they were, they were able to look inside themselves and see why they start playing when they were five or six years old, what, what, what caused them to love the game so much. And that's what we really play for. You know, the, the championships, the, the bowl games, that's just icing on the cake. All right, Coach, I did ask on Twitter for questions for you. And the main question I got is guys wanted to know what kind of hair gel you use. I swear, they really, that was the main question. Uh, Can you yeah. tell them? Uh, is, that, is that trade secret? Uh, you know what? It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's my own personal blend. How about that? <laughs> People are going to, the secret now is going to be a bigger deal than it would have been. That's before. right. Coach, That's we appreciate right. your time. Thanks and good luck this Thank season. Thank you.